Before getting started, I want to point out Nikolai Tesla. Nikolai Tesla is one of the greatest inventors in modern human history. He was born in Croatia. I'm pretty sure he did most of his work in Slovenia. And a lot of the world we live in today would not have been possible without his work. Literally, would not have existed without his work. Maybe somebody else would have done it after him, but he is the, the sole inventor of so many modern technologies that we use today. It's mind-boggling. The reason I point him out is because throughout history, his name has been erased from textbooks and other people's names have been written in to take credit for his work. Now, this isn't, this is beyond plagiarism, copying, any, I mean, they literally took his name out of the textbook and put somebody else's name in place of his for inventions and patents that he held and he developed. Now, moving on, I want to point out this radio. This is the radio that's kind of gotten some sort of a infamous reputation. This is the Jumper T16. It has become my primary radio. It has completely replaced my Tyrannus X9D. I don't really, I don't use this for anything anymore. I have a couple other uh, radios from FR Sky that this has pretty much taken, taken the, the crown of all of them. Now, this radio is far from perfect. However, with the feature set and the price point and everything about it, the way it feels, it is the, the radio that I personally recommend to anybody in the industry, starting, veteran, whatever. There are some minor things that I really wish it did differently. I wish the power button wasn't a, wasn't a button that you'd hold. I wish it wasn't actually an on-off switch. And the gimbals don't have full travel compared to the FR Sky X9D. Now this radio has got FR Sky extremely terrified. I'll get to that at the end. So let me just point out something else about FR Sky. Uh, FR Sky is saying that this radio is a copy of a lot of their work. And so before moving on, I want to point out something about FR Sky about how much of a hypocrite they actually are. So this is the X9D. This is the radio that arguably FR Sky has become famous for. This was a direct, I mean, it's a direct copy of a JR radio. Now, I don't, there are stories that they bought the mold from somebody that stole the mold from JR or maybe copied it, or I, I don't know, but it's a direct copy of that radio. And in recent times, FR Sky has copied a number of other products. In fact, a whole slew of products that FR Sky has come out with has been ripped from the industry and from the community. We just don't hear a whole lot about it because there's just not a lot of information. I mean, people don't really pay attention to this stuff in this industry so much, which also I'll get to. So you can clearly see that FR Sky has um, essentially copied at least the look of the um, Crossfire receiver and the whole concept of Crossfire, the way it works and how it is, they are replicating. So do with it as you will. Some people say it's not a copy. Some people say it is a copy. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get to that kind of idea a little bit later, but I'm just pointing out these two very concrete examples because they're just off the top of my head. Now, there's tons of other things. If I did my research, I could point out, but I'm not going to get to that. I want to get to this. This is a letter that FR Sky has been sending at, well, it's not just one. FR Sky has been sending a number of letters to pretty much all the retailers out there of retailers that, all, that sell both FR Sky and Jumper products. Now, Jumper, I'm, I'm not really def trying to defend them here or anything. They, they've clearly copied some things here and there, uh, as I'll get to, many companies do in China. Uh, but let's look through this, this letter. This is just one of the letters, one of three, I think, that they've been sending out. Okay, before I get started here, I also want to point out that FR Sky is a publicly traded company in China. Now, a lot of you may not know what that means. Companies, when they become big and they want more money to grow more, they sell the company to the public. They have an initial public offering where they sell stocks and shares to raise money for the company so that they can develop and produce and improve and do whatever that they want to do moving forward. Now, that means that the public now owns the company. It's no longer owned by a small group or some one individual. Sure, there might be CEOs or, or managing people, but those are not owned or they typically own shares, but they don't typically own the company or a significant portion of the company. They will also have primary investors, which will own a large portion of the company, but again, they don't own the whole company. The reason I point this out is because typically these companies that are public have to live up to some very strict standards. 
and they can't do things that are illegal because they're public companies. And if they do things that are illegal and wrong and bad, they will lose their shares, they will lose their market value, they will use their stock, everything, pricing. And they also need to answer to all of their shareholders, which are the true owners of the company. Now let's take a look at this letter that they have been sending to tons of retailers out there. I'm just going to point out the highlighted portions of the letter. Portions of the letter. You can read the whole letter below. It's in the link, link in the description below. You can read this particular one. I don't have all of them. I've seen them all, but this is the only one that I actually have like a full copy of. So here's what they're saying. The T16 is a copy of the FR Sky X10. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Copying and clone does not does no good to the RC industry. Okay, they understand that concept. Your store can remove T16 from your website or else FR Sky will reevaluation the cooperation relationship between us. Downgrade the customer grade. Okay. And now the next portion is actually a uh, screenshot that has been pasted in the email. And uh, let's just go over it real quickly. Co I am not a code jockey or a hardware designer. Okay. Uh, Jumper knowingly copied the FR Sky QX7 electronics and passed the T12 off as their own design. Okay. Jumper copied OpenTX and tweaked it to run in their stolen hardware. And I also point out the word subterfuge at the bottom just to imply, just to show that the person that wrote this is clearly an English speaker. It may actually be um, somebody outside of China. It may not actually be somebody within China because usually it's pretty broken English. Just That's just usually how it is. Now, moving down the, the letter, uh, behavior is definitely not by design and not is definitely by design and not the result of stupid, dumb luck. Now, that's another thing I'm gonna talk about in a minute. I'm just gonna read this, these highlighted portions of the letter because they're pretty hilarious. Um, the advertised specs and features of the T12 are almost identical to those of the FR Sky QX7. The OpenTX team refused to support Jumper as it is a complete copy without any value at all. FR Sky and OpenTX have been working together to introduce new features. Not to mention, there's a high level of plagiarism in the instruction manual. The advertised specs and features of T16 are almost identical to FR Sky X10. And it goes on and on with some more stuff in some other areas. Now a little discussion about copying and cloning. This is an issue that plagues all industries, not just our industry. And in my opinion, and it is really just my opinion because many people will object to what I would say, in my opinion, I think copying and cloning does in fact harm the industry, which clearly FR Sky agrees. And I say that because people that innovate, develop, they may put a lot of time, money, energy, effort, everything into this, this development to get to the point of innovation and then spend a lot of time and energy and money on marketing just for another company or another person to come along, just copy the idea, piggyback off the marketing and take all the glory. So the person that did the innovation doesn't actually get rewarded for their work. And that has led to our modern society, which I'll get to at the very end of this, um, which is where we are today. But China has been known to be the primary copier of things innovation. And they've been doing this for so long that it's essentially ingrained into their culture, which is a really awful thing because they, they have pretty much rejected all forms of imagination and innovation within their own culture, which is so sad. And the Chinese government, they, they realize this, but they also aren't doing a whole lot to prevent it. They say they are, or they say they have policies against it, but clearly they don't care all that much since China copies lots and lots of things from Western culture and doesn't even bat a lash, and the Chinese government doesn't do anything about it. Innovation is something that is very delicate and very difficult to have. Imagination and innovation are the core of how we develop anything and move forward. A lot of the time, innovation actually stifles innovation. What I mean by that is that you'll see a good idea and then you'll try to develop something along the same lines, but you can't unsee that good idea. So it's really hard to just forget and innovate and be original once again. And a lot of times, people that get these ideas or inspiration from other innovation, 
they don't recognize that they have been influenced and they will just develop thinking that it is an original idea that came from them. Now, these people, in my opinion, just lack the emotional intelligence to realize what's happening within themselves, but that's another topic altogether. Now, it's definitely not just China. Maybe the most famous example in recent times is the lawsuit between Apple and Samsung for uh, Apple saying that Samsung copied the iPhone, which some may argue whichever way, but there has to be an intent to copy. Like FR Sky said in their letter, it can't just be from dumb luck. Now, calculus, the field of mathematics, calculus was invented on opposite ends of the world before there were phones, very much communication by totally random people, two totally separate people on different ends of the planet invented the same field of mathematics independent of one another. Now that's pretty darn close to just dumb luck. I don't know how that happened. I haven't actually researched that history, but I, as far as I know, there was really no link between the two people that invented this field of mathematics at essentially the same time. Now, the burden of proof to show that Samsung actually made an effort to copy Apple was on Apple's side. They had to show that they actually had that intent. And the way they did it is by uncovering a series of emails where Samsung clearly said, hey, just look at what Apple's doing and copy what they're doing. And that was just <laughs> stupid on Samsung's part to even save those emails, let alone send those emails. But um, yeah, so it's not just China. So moving forward, let's take a look at the letter that FR Sky wrote once again. Now, again, I point out, this is a publicly traded company. They have to answer to public, to the public peoples. They need to not do things illegal. They need to not do things incorrectly or else they will lose their, <laughs> their shirts <laughs> because they're a publicly traded company. Now, they are saying that the C16 is a copy of the FR Sky X10, clearly not the exterior. They're saying the internals are a copy of the X10. Sure, whatever. Isn't that exactly what you guys did to get off the ground going yourselves? They also say copying and cloning does no good to the RC industry. Once again, that's literally how FR Sky made their name is by copying and cloning. And now they threaten the, the uh, retailer by saying we're going to pull you from our, um, our retailer list, which isn't really that big of a threat anymore because we clearly have multiple companies that can do what they're doing totally fine. And then they have this part, portion of the letter in the middle, which doesn't even, I don't even understand who wrote it or what the point is. They go on to talk about lots of other things that really they're just trying to make a case for themselves, even though they're just being more and more hypocrites throughout the entire letter. Even in the um, user manual, they're saying is a high level of plagiarism. FR Sky has literally copied the description of some things from TBS's website and pasted it into their own website without even changing the font. I mean, how much of a how much more of a hypocrite can you possibly be and then try to make your argument to say that these people are copying themselves? The part about OpenTX not supporting Jumper because they violated some laws or regulations is particularly interesting to me because I have a number of secondhand experiences with OpenTX, with dealing with the company, with the group, OpenTX. Now, OpenTX is the primary code that FR Sky runs on pretty much all of their radios. It is open source, and it did not start with FR Sky. Anybody can take that code and use it for whatever they like. They just need to make the fork that they use that code to move into also public. That's how open source works. Now, whether Jumper did or did not make it public, I would argue it doesn't really matter because who really cares to use the fork that Jumper made to make another fork? They could just go to the source of OpenTX and use that for another fork. And I, I mean, sure, Jumper should make it public. Why not? Like, it's not really going to make any difference. FR Sky is just upset because they have essentially paid off the OpenTX group or the people that run OpenTX to only work and develop for them. Now, OpenTX is open source. However, to be a officially supported product or officially supported radio in their group of radios, you do need to pay them and they do need to do some things for you if you want to be official. Now, even if you pay this group, they don't actually deliver what they are supposed to deliver, at least 
in any reasonable amount of time. And that was the major holdup to the Nirvana radio because the OpenTX group was just impossible to work with because they've been paid off by FR Sky not to do anything for anybody else. Now, this is, this is a pretty anti-competitive of FR Sky to try and do with something that is open source and then try to use it as a bargaining chip to say that Jumper is bad when they have done much worse themselves. I'm just going to stop there. You guys can read the letter and you know make it out for yourselves. Clearly, the tone of the letter says everything about what they're doing. But um, yeah, unfortunately, our industry, people don't really care about any of this stuff, which is totally fine. I have like a soft part in my heart for it, and it hurts me and all the people that innovate and do things. And I really wish there was a way to somewhat secure things and I have recently started working in a totally different direction because th there's no point in me doing any of this moving forward because I do enjoy development but I do want to be somewhat rewarded for my efforts or I'll just go back to work I don't need to do any of this stuff I have a career I'm, I'm totally cool with my career I'll just go back to work and just forget about FPV however I love doing this stuff it's my it's my hobby I just enjoy it so much and I enjoy enjoy my YouTube I enjoy you guys and I want to keep doing it it's up to you, the decision that you would like to make to support people or not support people. Unfortunately, like I keep saying, the industry doesn't really care that much, so people need to go through other efforts to try and uh, protect themselves. So then I get to where we are today in society, and this is kind of more of a lesson that I've learned, not just from FPV, but from all areas of things that I've tried to develop and work on, and even dentistry and businesses. Branding is more important than any innovation today and that's just wrong in my opinion as an example let's look at the snapchat brand now snapchat is a company that has been copied like crazy facebook has pretty much copied everything snapchat has done as well as uh, instagram now because facebook owns instagram and a couple other companies and th there's copying going on across all these apps and uh, all these systems but now snapchat is essentially not really worth anything other than their brand. The Snapchat brand is worth something because it's a household name. People know the Snapchat name. And so people that are investing in the Snapchat company are literally just investing in a name. They're not even investing in anything anymore because they have shown no innovation, nothing, and they're losing market share that they invented to everything else. Another example, which is not really a direct example, it's just an example that's more relevant to our industry, is GoPro. GoPro is not doing well. <laughs> they were very, in my opinion, dumb with the way they did things, very similar to BlackBerry. However, in my opinion, they actually do have some very real innovation. The concept of the small little action camera did come from them, and their sensors and the way their cameras capture video and give you the content is genuinely better than anything else I've seen in the industry. So they have that going for them. However, like I said, that's not all that important anymore because the branding of GoPro Be A Hero is more valuable than the product itself. Now with the GoPro Hero 7, they've done a whole ton of marketing, gotten their name out there more and more, so they are somewhat sort of kind of surviving. However, they are looking to sell the company, I believe. And what's really sad is that they didn't realize that their name brand is more valuable than their products. And it's, it's, I mean, maybe I'm being a hypocrite now because I'm clearly not GoPro or in any way GoPro size, but I see this more and more and I talk to people in the industry that are trying to develop themselves and develop things in the industry moving forward. And I, this is the discussion we have is about branding and product and innovation. And for some reason today, because of all this cloning and copying and everything, unfortunately, branding is more important than anything else. Branding and lifestyle is is the innovation of today and, uh, and that's just that's just sad that's just really sad um yeah i hope this was interesting uh i don't really have an opinion either way because jumper has done a lot of copying and everything themselves but for a company that's public like fr sky to be doing all this stuff that's a pretty scary thought and it says a lot about china and a lot about our industry as well and i don't think there are a lot of companies that could get away with what fr sky is doing today and it's interesting that people see FR Sky as like the Robin Hood of the industry you know stealing from the rich companies that want to charge thousands of dollars for their technologies and making it simple because it's so obvious and simple to do are they really or are they just harming the industry and putting other people out of business 
just like how Amazon does, just like how Google does. Google's business is essentially to hire people that are smart right out of school, give them a good salary that nobody else will give them so that they don't innovate and they don't become their competition. Amazon, similarly, will do anything and everything in their power to put other businesses out of business. And that includes Toys R Us. Yeah. Amazon literally put Toys R Us out of business. There's a lot of like, I'm not even going to get into it. But this is all very interesting to me as well. I hope this was informational and helpful. And uh, floss your teeth because that's not something that anybody can copy and make better. Floss is irreplaceable. Yes, water picks are good, but floss cannot be replaced. (laughs) Something between your teeth is very important. Take care. Bye.